This video is sponsored by Alestrals. This is the ultimate guide to Alestrals, everything that you need to know to dominate at the newest monster collectible card game. And in this video, we're going to be giving you some tools, strategies, and key things to look out for for when Alestrals drops. But Swolax, what is Alestrals? If you're like me, then you may have an addiction to card games and deck builders. So when the opportunity came along to partner with Elestrals for this video, I was more than happy to answer the call. Elestrals is a new collectible card game that pulls in some of the best elements from the games you already know and love. The gameplay focuses around a unique resource mechanic called spirits, which work like your life points, your energy, and your mana all rolled into one. As a competitive card game player for the better part of over a decade, truthfully, I was a bit worried about the gameplay, but sure enough, Elestrals has deep mechanics and strategy along with being easy to pick up for new players. Veterans and newbies alike will love this game. And if you're more into collecting, don't worry, Alestrals has you covered with different rarities, alternate art cards, and stunning full artworks. This Sonic Core was particularly hyped to pull and man, it looks gorgeous, holy. Developed by A-Drive, one of the largest Pokemon content creators and someone with over 20 years experience in card games, the Lestrals team has been hard at work to bring you this project and the Kickstarter just launched after selling nearly 5,000 prototype pre-order decks in September. The Kickstarter launches today and will be going on until December 4th. You don't want to miss out. The Kickstarter will include over 150 unique card arts along with the Founders Edition of the cards. The Founders Edition is going to be exclusive to the Kickstarter and will never be printed again. Look out for spirits like Tyratlas and Zapter, divine gods like Demeter and Zeus and Elestrals like the cute Tadpuff or the powerful Pen Terror. There is so much to explore with Elestrals, so trust me on this one, you don't wanna miss out on this Kickstarter. My personal links will be down below, but you can also scan this QR code here on screen. So whether you're thinking of supporting, you have already supported the project or already have your beautiful Elestrals cards, here are the decks and strategies that you need to know. First and foremost, if you're a complete beginner, not just to Elestrals or the card games, don't worry, Elestrals has you covered with a ton of great resources to get you up and running. If you're worried about deck building, Elestrals has your back with the starter decks. Each of the starter decks offer a unique play style that are great for exploring the different spirit types. I recommend the Earth and the Fire Spirit deck for anyone looking to pick up Elestrals for the first time, but don't be afraid to play with some slightly different strategies like the Water deck. These ones, in my opinion, are the most straightforward and offer a ton of room to grow and you can even combine them if you want. For the starter decks and individually, you might want to be looking out for Elestrals like Bombat. It's kind of like Exiled Force inside of Yu-Gi-Oh. We have Elechick, which can search a Divine Rune. This is deceptively powerful. And also Exaltair, which circles around the Nexus mechanic and makes your opponent expend two spirits, which is 10% of the max spirit deck. And that's pretty strong. Runes are also super important and most notably get familiar with your divine runes. These are powerful gods that can give you insane advantage. And while we all love invoke runes like Nectar of the God, what does it do? Don't be afraid to add Tsunami or Shield of Achilles to protect your Elestrals and win the game. A good mix of Elestrals and runes of any type are critical to success, so experiment and play around with what works for you and your playstyle. But Swolax, what if I'm not a baby? What if I've been casting Elestrals and enchanting runes for a while now? Well, 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 say less. The base set of Elestrals comes with over 100 options to help build upon your existing strategies or craft completely new ones. I would recommend some advanced builds like this. this is BBC or Big Bug Control. BBC is a slower bug centric control deck that uses cards like Ignector to swarm your field's Lestrals, cards like Spinosect as a big defender and to help retain advantage, and for some offensive pressure you have cards like Viserys. In addition, it also revolves around some counter runes like Shield of Achilles to help protect your bugs. For something a little more aggro, I've dubbed this deck the Mango. Initially this was incepted to be a fire and thunder spirit type of deck, but instead it morphed into something completely different. This is more of a fire water recruiter strategy that uses cards like Earth Scout and Earthseer to maintain presence and advantage with your Elestrals. It also utilizes Necroft, Blazorus, and Trifernal to put on some immense pressure to your opponent. Trifernal is so powerful that you do not want to lose it early, so make sure to pick and choose when you're trying to drop this super strong Elestral. What is a little bit of offense without a little bit of defense? We have a water 
water and wind spirit type of engine. Pelcaris can search Smaltuga, which is one of my favorite Elestrals. Smaltuga then can search a fire type Elestral, meaning that it can search Earth Scout or Earthseer or Necruff even to really help maintain your fire advantage. Those two are pretty straightforward, but what about something that's a little bit quirky, a little bit fun, a little bit interesting? This is a deck that I've dubbed Oops All Loops. It is a mid-range hand control deck that uses cards like Amp Up, which is somewhat like Thunder Dragon if you played Yu-Gi-Oh, and uses that with Apple of Discord to discard cards from your opponent's hand. The deck also utilizes Lycavolt and Spark Kit for some offensive pressure, some defensive water engines like Foamy into Telephant, and for a little bit of aggro play, we have crazy combos like Tadpuff into Zephrog. These strategies specifically, I think are going to be really good. And if not these strategies, then decks just like these, either crazy one trick types of decks or crazy advantage engines. To be fair though, the starter decks will also give these decks a run for their money. So there's a lot to look out for in terms of what is competitively viable. But even if you're having just some fun with your friends, there's some really neat stuff that you can pull off with the base set combined with the starter decks etc, etc. Hopefully this gives you a good idea on what to play and what to look out for and forward to in the Elestrals card game. I know that you guys could come up with way better decks than I could, so let me know what you're either playing or thinking about in the comment section down below. As well, don't forget to check out the Elestrals Kickstarter. My personal links will be in the links down below. As well, you can scan the QR code on screen now. From unique cards and card artworks, plus the Founders edition of the cards, you want to check this out. Trust me. But uh, yeah, thank you so much to Illustrials for sponsoring today's video. And I think that's all I really got to say with this one. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.